that we're all posh and that we've all got too much money. This is one of the first English thoughts, so why would you get rid of something that's got history? Animals don't have voices and they have no one speaking for them. In the lead-up to this year's general elections, animal welfare was thrust back onto the political agenda. UK Prime Minister David Cameron vowed to overturn the 2004 Hunting Act, which makes it illegal to hunt wild animals with large packs of hounds. The Hunting Act was created in 2004 under Tony Blair's Labour government. That year, hundreds of thousands of hunt supporters demonstrated outside Westminster, and several invaded the House of Commons. If the Tories were to be elected, what do you think would happen to animal welfare? Then we have five more years of going backwards, five more years of animals being persecuted unnecessarily. His pledge kicked up a simmering debate that has seemed to pit rich against poor, city against countryside. Right now I'm with some of Britain's most committed anti-hunt activists, the Hunt Sabs, a group which sabotages hunts across the country. We're on our way to confront the Exmoor Foxhounds, which is planning a large fox hunt in the area. The Hunt Sabs are hoping to disrupt it. Can you radio check with us when you get to the top? So why are you involved in the Hunt Sabs? No one's standing up to them and they're out there killing all these foxes for absolutely no reason and it's just horrific and no one's stopping them, the police, nobody's doing anything and they're, you know, being bullies all over the place to everybody. So David Cameron has recently said that he would like to overturn the Hunting Act. How do you respond to that? Disgraceful. 80% of the public voted to, to keep it. It's nothing, you know, he's supposed to represent the people and he's doing what he wants for his own aims. Everyone knows that his brother-in-law hunts, he used to hunt, his father-in-law is master of the hunt. I mean, David Cameron himself uh, misses hunting. He uh, misses it so much he went out and shot some pigeons in his woods. So just goes to show what kind of bloke he is. Yeah. I don't know what radio signal is going to okay, be like. We'll have to see what we can do. The hunt itself is meeting uh, in Simmons Bath, uh -huh. which is very close to the, the kennels for the hunt. Really? Um, and they're going to be hunting on, on the moor itself. Okay. There's all of this area down here. The plan is to kind of follow them and keep track of them all day. We have uh, a gizmo. It's um, basically just a recording of um, hounds in cry, so the sound that the hounds make when they're on the scent of a fox. <laughs> Um, then we have whip. Instantly when we turn up, they start damaging the vehicle, assaulting people. They pick on the girls a lot. They will, you know, shout things like, you, you look like you need a good shag or, or things like that. It's a fucking same old fucking crap every fucking time. Fuck off, you cunt! Fucking interfere what we need and fuck those off! This footage, leaked in January, allegedly shows hunt sabs and balaclavas beating a hunt master unconscious. A lot of hunt supporters will say that things like fox hunting are banned because politicians at Westminster don't understand the countryside. Do you think that's true? They will always claim that we're all townies and we don't understand the countryside as well. A lot of us are from the country ourselves. Um, I think to dismiss someone's opinion as you just don't understand us is kind of, is a bit of a weak argument. Okay, so we've got our tail for the morning as well. She's going to follow us all day now. So we just drove by a cluster of hunters on horseback and a bunch of hunt supporters. They were all eyeing our car, so they're definitely on to the fact that we're here. Right now we've got a guy on a quad bike just following our car. So someone with an Exmoor hunt jacket on is so just circling the car and photographing everyone inside. Yeah. They photograph us like this and surround us as a form of intimidation. Why are you photographing us? Why are you filming us? Have they given you trouble before? Well, they never cause us trouble. They're just poor little rich kids that got nothing else better to do, rebelling against their parents. So I feel a bit sorry for them. I think they're a bit sad. It's not the actual hunting they're against, it's the people that they perceive that go hunting. You know, rich, rich, toffee-nosed businessmen like me. You know, loaded I am. 
Are you are you big supporters of this hunt? Always hunted, ever since I was so high. When I was a little boy, the hounds used to meet in my village. And we didn't have a car and we didn't have any um, a bike or anything. And I used to follow on foot and then on a pony. I know that the Prime Minister is hoping to overturn the Hunting Act. Do you, do you support the Tories in that? Yes, I do. I support the Tories anyway because they've done a lot for the country. Um, and I've, I was a great f- uh, supporter of Maggie Thatcher because she put the country first, not herself. A lot of the politicians these days think of themselves and that. And um, I think she was a great woman. Did things change a lot when the Hunting Act came in? Oh yes, it made a big difference to us, yes. They won't stop us coming out, you know. Uh, Nice people go hunting, that's what I like. Not like this lot. um, Well, they seem to be anti-everything, you know. One of our foot teams is at Great Tom's Hill, which is just southeast of Badgeworthy Wood. So what's going on right now? At the moment we're trying to ascertain exactly where the hunt is. Oh, yeah. We've got team hopefully going to check on foot and see if they can find them. You're not going to get nothing out here. This is probably the worst part of the country in the whole of Britain to try and sab a hunt. In response to David Cameron's pledge, the Labour Party has vowed to defend the Hunting Act, something that hunt supporters describe as an attack on the rural way of life. We've just arrived at Kingston Blount for the Kimbolic Hunt Point to Point. Point to Point is basically like a big horse race run by amateurs. It's organized by hunt and it uses horses from the hunting season. So we've come here to ask hunt supporters what they think about David Cameron's pledge to overturn the hunting act. Who's going to win or be second? So you don't think the Labour Party understands the countryside? No. They think that we're all posh and that we've all got too much money and that we're just doing it for fun. It's fine to put a law in if you understand what the implications are of it. And sometimes I don't think they do. Labour is a, uh, a city party, a yeah. northern party. They They've never really supported rural needs. This is one of the first English sports, so why would you get rid of something that's got history? Do you think that politicians in London actually understand what the hunt's about? Yeah, because people like David Cameron, they've got houses just up the road, so they know what the English countryside's like. We travelled to Aylesbury to meet the master of the Kimbowick hunt to find out how the hunting act has affected the countryside way of life. So we've got about 120 hounds, but we hunt four days a week. They're, They're all quite full of beans. A lot of the the aspects of the hunting act are quite ridiculous. We can use a full pack of hounds to trail hunt, um, which is what we personally, as as a hunt, have adopted. So the hunt masters just asked me to stand in this enclosed area so that the dogs don't pull me over. Critics of the hunt will say that when you go out to lay the the trail, that you're actually just giving yourself cover uh, to do fox hunting and that you're continuing with fox hunting in the old way. What would you say to those critics? At the end of the day, we've always said that we will test the law to the utmost. You know, at the end of the day, we are going to test it in, in every aspect and every angle that we possibly can. These coats are all handmade. Um, these ones are for us. How yeah. much would a coat like that cost? A uh, coat like this would be anything from 700 to to a thousand pound. Obviously, when people talk about hunting, they often describe it as like a really sort of posh upper class sport. Um, you know, and they talk about the red coats, people on horseback. Do you do you think that's the right perception? I think it, I think that that's the perception probably from 60 years ago, maybe. Um, I think it's completely different now. I think if you look at the broad spectrum of people that actually go hunting, um, there would be very little old money, should I say. If Labour wins the election, what do you think will happen to this hunt and to the countryside? The hunts will disappear because you know you can't effectively take your hounds out of the kennels. The staff will be made redundant. And it's the whole infrastructure, the, you know, the community spirit of the countryside.